Hello and welcome to another episode. The EU Maps and Infotainment update has finally come out today, which is the 8th of August 2024. The actual update is dated July, so it's the 26th of July 2024 is the actual update. Now, I've been through the Kia, the Hyundai and the Genesis update sites, which were all very similar. But unfortunately, this is very similar to what the Australian update was a few weeks ago, even the Genesis one. So I'm quite disappointed with what's in here. And even one of the features which says it would work does not work. So it seems to be the worst update for me. Um, you will, of course, get new maps. So that's the only positive thing I can find in this, apart from a few little tweaks here and there in the planner. Anyway, let's just go through the changes. So on update.kia.com, on the European page, the August 2024 navigation map and software update. New features, uh, these are for the CCNC, which is the EV9 and the EV3 when it comes. You can now stream music on SoundCloud, whoopee, who cares? Have you ever found inconvenient and adjust the volume of Bluetooth? Well, this is a CCNC thing also, because this is fixed on the EV6 a while back, so this does nothing. So that's Bluetooth audio volume. Navigation has been improved to be more convenient to use. We've added a feature that suggests saving places like home and office. This is a CCNC only thing. So this is again, is EV9. Um, EV charging station is now easy to find on the map. This again is CCNC, so nothing to see on the Gen 5 W head, head units of the Ionic 5, 6 and the current EV6. Uh, it's now easy to set or change the audible speed limit by pressing and hold the mute button for a few seconds. Now, I've mentioned this was coming and I've tried it. I've tried driving the car. It doesn't seem to do anything on my first generation EB6. So if anyone's been able to get this to work, please let me know in the comments. But it shows the Gen 5 W class head unit has been having the feature. So it's a bit strange. Um, you can now use a voice search, which is for Amazon Music, which is another CCNC thing. And that is all the updates for the Kia side. If you go to Hyundai or Hyundai, you've got a very similar page and very similar features. So only CCNC has been updated with anything new. Um, supposedly pressing the, the mute button for a few seconds will turn off the speed limit warnings, but I don't know if that's going to work on a Hyundai cars either. But the one place where you actually get something decent is on the Genesis page, so update.genesis.com. And they've added wireless Android Auto and CarPlay to the CCIC head units and the Gen 6 head units. These cars go back as 2022, so you're talking the GV60, which is the sister car to this car, the EV6, and the Ionic 5. So... They seem to be working their way backwards through the head units, but I don't know if they're going to do the Gen 5 W ones that's in this car. I just hope they do, but we just don't know, do we? And you can now stream music using SoundCloud, like the other one. Uh, there's also the Bluetooth audio thing. Uh, navigation's been uh, improved. So that's about saving locations for work or home. Traffic information is now displayed on calculated routes when using the neon map. That's a good thing if you've got it, I suppose. EV stations are now easier to find on the map. Now easy to set or change the audible speed limit warnings. You can disable speed limit warnings whenever you want to easily, blah, 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 blah. Press the mute on the steering wheel. Again, it's supposed to do it on this car, but it doesn't do it. New features been added to voice recognition. You can add um, stop off to your route, say add as a stop off. Um, that doesn't work on the EV6 and doesn't work on, I would say it doesn't work on the Gen 5W at all. So that rules out the Ionix unless you've got the new version, which is forthcoming. So, that's your lot 
I've had a quick whiz through it and the only changes that I can see are on if you go into maps if you go into in, press press nav and then root router overview you can see now it's got the live um, availability of chargers in the in the overview I think previously on plan two you've got the percentages appearing there so that's been taken out so that's not particularly a good thing so back to route overview the other issue I have is that the flags are overlapping the information on the screen which is a bit crap so they need to go back and revisit that anyway that's all there is apart from the maps there's very little change if you're an EB6 owner of the first generation variety like this or Ionic 5 or possibly Ionic 6 worth downloading for just the maps I guess so uh, Another quick note, they've changed the password on the engineering mode again, so I've got to play on the password from engineering mode again. As I say, pretty disappointed. Thank you for watching.